Hello, my Lister Devils. This is I, Lucifer the Cat, and welcome to my review slash rant on Disney sequels in general. Now, just so you know, I'm not going to go by every single Disney sequel ever made, because that's just too much work, effort, and time, and uh, sorry, uh, I'm not that person. Not that person. Not this cat, honey. Uh, you can go to someone else, but not me. <laughs> but I will uh, divide uh, the certain types of Disney sequels, because I divide them into five categories. There are filler flops. The second one is sequels that feel like prequels, disgraceful sequels, mass sequels, and excellent sequels. Now, as you all know, everyone knows that Disney sequels were basically made for for money, cash grab. You know, most of these you know, the writers were like, fish it, just write some random crap down, and boom, we just want money, and, like, whatever. But, as as you know, currently, Disney kind of learned, as, and they are like, they're like saying, hmm, let's treat these, treat, blah, blah, can't talk, let's treat these with respect. Now we have Wreck-It Ralph 2, and upcoming Frozen 2, which I'm sure is gonna rock. But before we can get into Frozen 2, and celebrate it, we must acknowledge the past Disney sequels. And, uh, like I said, divide them into five categories. And the first category we're going to deal with is filler flops. Now, as you all know, I am guilty for being in one of these. Cinderella 2. Uh, and yes, that's where I met Pom Pom. And yes, we don't really talk anymore, but who fishing cares? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh, filler flops. These are lazy. Lazy, lazy, effortless movies just for just for money made just for money uh they're like anthology anthology an anthology movies um but they contri- they don't contribute to the original source like bell's magical adventure it it literally contribute doesn't contribute to the original story of beauty and the beast or freaking <laughs> cinderella 2 like None of it has to do with the original source of the movie. Or Atlantis 2. Did you know there was Atlantis 2? I didn't know until, like, months ago. But, yeah, that's also a filler flop. And I am disappointed. Because, how dare you? Like I said, filler flops are disgraceful. Waste of time, waste of money, just waste of existence. So, don't bother. Uh, The second category are sequels that feel like prequels. What I mean by this... You know, Tarzan 2, Bambi 2, Fox and the Hound 2. I'm just kind of curious, why would they go backwards instead of forward? Because, you know, that's the point of sequels. They're supposed to be the continuation of a story, not backwards. Because if it's backwards, then don't say it's 2. It should be Bambi Younger Years or Fox and the Hound Farm Adventures, not Fox and the Hound 2. Because it's fucks around too. Should be the continuation. We should see uh, Todd and Copper as adults. You know, let's see how, how they're still working adulthood out and how, you know, the trials and tribulations of being a fox and a hound escalates. But no, let's just see them, you know, having shenanigans on a farm. Let Copper be a part of a singing dog group. Yeah, we all wanted that. Better yet, oh yes, for Tarzan too, we didn't want to see how Tarzan and Jane's relationship escalates, or new adventures, new enemies, new threats. No, we just want to see him as a kid again, and let Tarzan, little Tarzan, go through a midlife crisis. But, like, it's kind of, it's it's like the original movie didn't, didn't contribute that, didn't plan that already. It's like, they want to imagine that the original Tarzan did nothing with Tarzan's character, like, as if he wasn't having an identity crisis. But, nope, they made us a quote-unquote sequel, and they wanted to be deep, saying, ooh, we're back with Tarzan as a kid, and then he's still trying to find himself, like, who am I? Like, what? Ugh. And uh, I'm just kind of confused about that, the logic between that, because, like, Honey Boo Boo, how's it a sequel, and they kids again? Like, what the fish? Are you kidding me? Oh. Now, <laughs> category three, well, section three of Disney sequels, uh, disgraceful sequels. These are sequels that are shameful, disgraceful to the first one. Um, Mulan 2. Yes, um, even though I love the song I Want to Be Like Other Girls and Lesson Number One, um, 
It was trash. Very trash. Um, yes, trash. Uh, there was no villain like the first one. Sure, Shan Yu was a forgettable villain, but at least he was a villain. There's no main villain in this one. Uh, there's no real stakes to this one. Like I said, it was trash. Uh, Pocahontas 2, trash. Sorry, Priscilla, but your sequel was trash. Uh, let's see. Disgraceful sequels. Um, Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. Now, I've never even seen this movie, but just by looking at it, I know it's complete, total garbage. No, it's not garbage. It's complete, total feces. Feces! It belongs in my litter box. Ugh. Like, the, the worst thing you could do to a Disney movie is make a sequel that disgraces and tarnishes the originality, the creativity, the wonder of the first movie. Ugh. Uh, now to the mass sequels. <laughs> the mass sequels, they don't really live up to the expectation of the first one. But it's still, it's still a good movie. It's not all like, whoa, phenomenal. It's, it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right. It's steamable. Um, I would say, uh, I guess Little Mermaid 2. That was an all right movie. Not praiseworthy, but it was all right. Uh, freaking Brother Bear 2. I mean, not the best movie, but it was all right. Still doable for Brother Bear. Uh, hell, heck, a uh, freaking Stitch the, the Lilo and Stitch um, sequels, like, oh, come on, as I know that I love Lilo and Stitch, and Looney Cat loves Luna, well, Sylvester loves Lilo and Stitch with a burning passion, the sequels, they not that good, I mean, Lilo and Stitch 2, alright, but, eh, they kind of descend in the way from, uh, Ohana means family and kind of descend into sci-fi territory with all the aliens and experiments and oh no I mean not like I said it's not Oscar worthy but it ain't complete total trash so it's all right in my book and also these mass sequels are totally better than these um garbage sequels oh uh, like Finding Dory uh or uh yeah Finding Dory or Dare I say Incredibles 2? I mean, sure, it... Well, wait, do I count those as sequels? I don't know. Fish it. All I'm saying is that the mess sequels are better than disgraceful ones. And now, drum roll, please. I know it's a rig drum roll, don't come for me. Uh, time for the excellent sequels. These excellent sequels are the ones that are so memorable, and they stand up. Uh, to, uh, they, they're, like, actually perfect, um, and they're amazing, and they do, uh, succeed, and they do, uh, they don't tarnish the legacy of the first one. Like, uh, Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. People, like, overlook this movie, and they'd be like, huh, Lion King 2? I'm like, Lion King, Li Lion King 2 was not a bad movie, folks. It was pretty cool. It was pretty awesome. Uh, oh, Lion King 1 and a half. Bish, Timon and Pumbaa stole the show for a show. <laughs> uh, fish in an extremely goofy movie, Bish? Come on. Now, sure, the whole, they have, you know, college cliches like, oh, look, it's the jocks. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's the, the cool, you know, poetry class geeks, whatever. But it, it, it's, it's, it, that's the point. You know, a goofy movie had the same cliches, of course, during the beginning of the film. But, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a movie. It, of course, it has that cliche, but that doesn't interfere with the whole entire movie. It's still a heartwarming movie. An extremely goofy movie is an amazing movie. And it's kind of a shocker that the action sequels aren't really the, uh, the most uh, noticeable one. You don't really hear people talk about these excellent sequels. Most You hear them talk about the male or... Dare I say the disgraceful ones. Ugh. But the excellent sequels actually, you know, aim and they actually succeed at their goal of, you know, feeling as a, um, not conclusion, but a continuation uh, of the first one. So, yeah, like I said, this video isn't long. 
wasn't long because I'm about to end it. Anyways, uh, so yeah, um, I already told you guys this video wasn't going to be long. I just wanted to go down all the Disney sequels. I went down the categories, blah, blah, blah. So yes, um, Disney in the, uni in, in, in the future, I'm sorry. <laughs> Disney in the future. Uh, Frozen 2 looks amazing. Looks spectacular. Looks wonderful. Now, if you plan on making other Disney sequels, uh, I hope you never go down the downward spiral of cash grabbing. Never go down that downward spiral ever again. Because, honey, y'all make plenty enough. Plenty, plenty, plenty enough money as it is. Y'all don't need no cash grabbers. Y'all just don't. <laughs> y'all own Fox. You own Hulu. You don't need nothing more. So, uh, here's to hoping that future Disney sequels are worth the wait, worth the time, worth the money. They ain't fliffy, flip, blah, 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 blah. They're not filler flops. They're not sequels that deserve to be prequels. They're not disgraceful sequels. And try not to make mess sequels. We, we want to spend our money on something good. Yes. So, that's all for today, my little devils. See y'all next time. Try not to get in trouble. Actually, do get in trouble. <laughs> uh...